I usually don't cover DC music or Philly music too much, but these two are two of my favorite rappers, so we got to cover it. So the other day, Lil Dude Luciano, a.k.a. Big Say So or whatever, posted some DMs with OT7 Kwani. And pretty much what happened was OT7 Kwani hit him up and said, yo, you a B-word, we gonna bump. Lil Dude said, you not trying to bump, you a coward. OT7 said, bro, I promise you gonna regret that. On my kids, we gonna bump. Lil dude said, I ain't trying to hear that stuff, bro. Make a song about it, coward. <laughs> yo, what is like the new lingo nowadays? Like, yo, we going bump. Like, it sound like them niggas is flirting. Like, yo, bump, bump, bump. Like, yo, sh like, what's going on, bro? This is way too much. But I'll say this, dog. Based off these two DMs, I came to two conclusions. One, OT7 Kwani might be on some crazy drugs down bad. Or he might be getting drunk as hell. Or maybe his ego is crazy. Don't ever get it messed up. Lil Dude is that guy. He, In my opinion, he's a way better rapper than OT7 Kwani. And he has a decent fan base. But Kwani is on a whole nother level. Why the hell is Kwani DMing Lil Dude talking smack? Like, it just doesn't make sense. And this is like the fifth DM of Kwani sending a rapper with 10K followers a DM threatening him. Like, low-key rapper. Like, yo, why is Kwani even sending these rappers DMs? Either Kwani doesn't understand how big he is as a rapper pause or he's just bored trying to act tough or he really don't like these niggas and my my main issue is this dog he hasn't really been dming any philly rappers who we know or, or people who we really know in real life not even no rappers from jersey or nothing like that it's been all rappers from different markets dc nyc cleveland places like that like random ass rappers which is close to philly those markets those rappers are close to philly but as far as rap markets go, that's a whole nother universe, to be honest with you. Baby Jammo and Emro would probably never do a song. They probably never even heard of each other. So these two markets crossing over really don't make no sense, dog. I also seen that little dude posted DMs six months later. Um, <laughs> put it like this: I went to work last night, opened my Spotify, and WAP. What do we have? A little dude new mixtape, brand new mixtape. Say so the last lean minute. <laughs> So dude pretty much had these messages for six months, but saved them and loaded them up to get clout for his album release date, which is, if you ask me, that's huge, 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 huge clout chasing, bro. Like niggas exposing DMs like a female dog. All in all, though, this beef ain't going nowhere. I'm just mad about it because I would have loved to see these two dudes do a song together, but it's a wrap on that. But digital thugs, I'm out. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.